what is going on guys mad space here bringing you another video and uh, this is another reaction video not really reaction because i've already seen the trailer seen the direct but just my thoughts on the brand new open world pokemon game pokemon legends arceus uh so this is actually really really interesting because I know that when I talked about Diamond and Pearl last time, it was I said that it was something that we've all been waiting for for a long time, and that's true. But this is what it looks like right now is definitely something that Pokemon fans have been waiting for for a very long time. And obviously, games like this take a long time. Games like uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild took, it was in development for a while. So a game like this, obviously, was going to take a while. But um, it doesn't even come out this year. It comes out a year from now. Uh, I think they said early 2022, something like that. So um, we're going to watch it just like when we watched a Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Uh, we'll watch it, uh, talk about it, and yeah, let's start. Obviously, the uh, classic. This is a tale from a the long, classic switch. long time ago. Click. When the Sinnoh region was still only a vast wilderness. A certain village bustled with the comings and goings of people. While in the mountains and seas, Pokemon roamed as they pleased. Again, they did the trailer right, man. The trailer that for uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl was great, and this, just, you know, the same thing. It's just such an amazing trailer, man. So good. That other Shinx has no idea. <laughs> The frame issues, I don't know if it's uh, my OBS or if it's um, or if it's the actual video. It could be my OBS, I'm not sure. Obviously with the Switch, you wouldn't expect it to have frame issues like that, but we'll see. Assume those are the starters. He is. So good. Oh, man, 2022, bro. All right, so just to talk a little bit about what I think. Um, obviously, it looks great. Um, people had problems with the textures in Sword and Shield, and rightfully so. Um, this game doesn't seem to have uh, those problems. I think the frame rate was either, it, it couldn't either been me or the video, but you can't expect it to be like that once the game releases next year. You would have to think that if it was the game itself that they would iron out all those issues. But obviously, you know, things are looking much, much nicer uh, than it was in Sword and Shield. I'm wondering how the battle sequences are going to happen. Um, I mean, you see, and I think it's about to pop up, um, well, after she catches this Shinx. But um, I think this is good. But it makes it kind of like Pokemon Go, how you just go and catch. But, like, in the anime, in the game, you know, to catch a Pokemon, you got to battle it to catch it, you know. Uh, not that it has to be that way. They can make the game however they want, but... I, I'm just, I, I want some more details on how that's going to happen. You saw some of the battles going on there and stuff like that. So, um, I, there's just not a lot of details. Because it's not like with the remakes how you know, and I'm going to talk about the starters in a sec, but how you know for the most part how the, um, how the game is going to be. 
because it's a remake it's an hd remake you know but we haven't really had a pokemon game like this so there's just not too many details and i'm and i'm curious as to how they're gonna go about the main aspect of the game which is gonna be catching like not necessarily catching pokemon i mean you see but how the battles uh are gonna be and stuff like that you know um but yeah also what i want to uh touch on a little bit is the starters like how cool is it that you get starters from three different regions um i think i'm gonna go with rowlet because the sidua is cool um but yeah man it's just um i think it looks good uh i think i might be more excited for brilliant diamond and shining pearl um but this game could be great like breath of the wild the legend of Zelda: breath of the wild is one of my favorite games ever and so if this game is even a little bit like that man this could be a top selling switch game for the duration i know the switch has been out since what 2016 2017 something like that um so this could be a top selling switch game if all the expectations are met because the potential for this game is through the roof and if it hits all those lines this is gonna be an absolute amazing game honestly i can't wait for it obviously there's a lot of questions but there's not that many details out yet so Hopefully, more details come out in time. Maybe a Pokemon Direct or another Nintendo Direct. We'll see. But right now, as you can see, releasing worldwide in early 2022, it's a waiting game. So, anyway, those are my thoughts on Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, excited for all the Pokemon games that are coming out uh, in the near future. Um, so, basically, if you guys enjoy this content, please drop a like, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.